G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today's video is recorded not long after yesterday's video, or maybe the day before, depending on where we fit the members video in there. This is not a members video, but I still need to record a members video. Um, that was a long-winded way of saying hello. Uh, so today we're going to strip some African cichlids. I've been a horrible YouTuber. I've already stripped one girl, the fryer in this bucket. The only reason I stripped her is because I was moving her. Um, and then I've also got a marble peacock here that is holding. And I thought I better I better film before I strip her. Um, so I've got to set the table up. I'm gonna try and set it up like an old old um, stripping video we've done a while ago. So uh, if you're a, con a everyday watcher. I haven't actually stripped any African cichlids since the last stripping video, so that's how much I've been sleeping on this. Um, there, there's some sort of change in the weather, we've had a couple of warm days, maybe the bureaumetric pressure has changed, but um, I haven't stripped because I haven't noticed a great deal of mouthfuls, but um, not only have I seen quite a few African mouthfuls this morning, um, I don't have, I had one batch of flower horn eggs. The next day I had two batch of flower horn eggs and we almost went for the trifecta, three for three days. But unfortunately, I think these guys might lay today, which is the fourth day. So if they lay today, that's three batches of flower horn eggs from three different pairs in four days. That's gotta be some sort of record, hey? And keep in mind, I only have three pairs of flower horns so that means all three breeding at the same time D does that mean like when girls are around each other they like sink their um eggs i don't know no it, I, I i still believe to this day it's the bureaumetric pressure um i said yesterday in the live stream i really want to get a barometer and put it on the wall and like correlate um see if i can get some sort of pattern going with flower horn breeding and the bureaumetric pressure. Um, drop a comment if you think I should do that. But anyway, I gotta go get my table. We're not gonna be able to do a stripping video without the stripping table. All right, it's been a while since I've done this. So, camera should be in a good position there. You guys know the marbles breed like flies. Um, so we'll go with them first. I thought I had four and then I could only see three. Now I have four again. It's like a magic show. Alright, so one of these girls has already spit. There's too much water in here. The fry... Uh. See what happens when I'm out of practice, guys. So... Um... They're actually at different stages, which is surprising. Usually when I strip from a colony, they're all the same size. Um, I've got to throw her back. So um, I don't know which one's already spat. I think it's this big one. Maybe not. So if you don't know how to strip Africans, should I explain it a little bit? You can actually do it without. So a lot of people use a bread tie. I just use my finger. Um, it's obviously, maybe I'll move the camera to try to get a more close up shot. Um, my stripping videos, I generally don't. Well, we lost the microphone. I don't generally. I, I don't explain this, but I should explain it more, I reckon. Um, so, you catch a girl. Um, and then what I do is I put a little bit of pressure just near the gill plate there. And their mouth actually starts to open. And then I use my other finger. And then I pretty much get 
my finger and hold the mouth open like that and then just give them a little bit of a dunk it doesn't harm them um, never put heavy pressure on them like can I just I've heard I've never done it personally but I've had like people message me saying they've they've killed a girl um, even though it might look like I'm being rough just remember guys I've done this for a long time and even though I'm being fast I'm not being rough I promise the hardest ones are the um, pseudotrophius with the the mouth that like tucks under you can't get your finger in there you pretty much need to use a bread tie for them and that's the marbles let's see what's next all right I guess I'll show you this before I um, strip the next ones actually get a four millimeter airline I create a siphon straight into the egg tumbler I just broke it broke the siphon that is and then I just suck up the eggs obviously when they're trying not to get the fry in this situation I don't think we've got any fry then which is good we only got eggs oh, did I just miss that on the camera this girl just spat all of her fry I think I missed it so this is Dimachroma strigatus this is a personal favorite of mine um, these ones won't actually be for sale I want to build a new breeding colony these are getting some age on them the males are starting to slowly um, dwindle in color a little bit so I definitely want to get a backup colony going um, they're kind of like Dimmy Comps Malawi eye biters bit shorter face actually a nicer fish in my opinion alright guys next up we've got a Grishaki female if anybody who doesn't know this is a bucket list fish for me for like seven years and to be honest now that I've got them I'm not overly impressed with them but I'm keeping them because they are a bucket list fish I'm actually surprised I'm getting fry out of them it's like five males and one female and she still breeds um, obviously not as pretty as the boys but she's still got that red finish um, I would basically call them like a poor man's um, hongi, but they are bigger than the hongi, I would say. Alright, so just a quick one. The white eggs are infertile. So we get rid of them first. Now, when there's white eggs and good eggs together, suck them up and then spit them out a little bit further away. And then, all that, stir them up and you'll be able to separate them. If you suck up a good egg, just spit it back out. Um, and try again. So now I've only got good eggs, we can put them in a tumbler. Alright guys, I had to grab the memory bank out for this one to remember what they were called. The Trimidochromus intermedius. Um, they're often mistaken as a different fish. I can't remember the name of it. But... Um, they're actually quite a rare fish I'm pretty sure um, so we've got a free swimming mouthful and and some eggs so they're basically like they've got the three spots whereas the one that they get mistaken for the females don't have the three spots I'm pretty sure this girl will have all fry gone alright so I really want to get some um, wet white permanent markers it's at the top of my list to buy all right guys so I've got a red empress girl um, at the risk of sounding like a broken record heaps of people ask me why I don't get super red empress and um, the reason actually is because red empress and super red empress they're two different fish and my biggest worry with swapping to super red empress is that red empress will actually disappear because everybody wants red empress super red empress at the moment and um, I think it's a good idea just to keep a um, red empress bloodline on the go alright guys second last cab off the rank is Demasoni 
I just caught one of the males to show you him. Um, they're pretty stunning. Um, this is actually like my fourth generation that I've line bred. Um, very cool. Uh, I had to, when I was first breeding them, they had some broken bars and all that. So I've actually line bred them to the point that I don't get any broken bars anymore, which is cool. The only problem is they do self-destruct. For anybody who knows about this colony, I've never actually sold any Demosoni. I literally have had four generations of breeding them, stripping them like this, the parents killing each other, and then growing out the fry and then breeding them again. <laughs> All right, guys, last but not least is my um, Code Blue Alunacara. I actually wouldn't mind swapping these guys out for some Lawanda Alunacara. I've got a bit of a rule. I don't. I don't really want multiple Alunacara. Besides, like obviously Dragon Bloods and Marbles. Um, the reason being is I don't like the idea of being able to mix them up. Um, I used to have like seven colonies of peacocks, and it was just a logistical nightmare trying to keep them all separated. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap that one up there. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. The floor is absolutely trashed. Um, I've got a lot of some more suction cups, so I just thought of that. But um, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. Um, just test if it works for me. Peace out.